Okay, so I wanted to run through the uh, the new product we launched. It's a basically an AI SaaS product template. Uh, it's bubble based, so it's a no code template to build out any form of, I guess, AI SaaS company you could think of. It kind of has a a lot of uh, options built into it. It's kind of like an all encompassing SaaS structure situation right now, as you can see kind of from the main dashboard view here, but things like, you know, business idea generation, Instagram captions, Twitter thread generators, YouTube uh, title generators, product description generators. It's kind of like an all encompassing, like one stop shop for any cool, quick AI based, I don't know, business accessory tool, kind of like a uh, executive assistant replacement. But I guess you can take this and get as niche down as you want to, whether that's, you know, an AI smart tool for for dentists or an AI smart tool for, uh, you know, small town accountants, or like it's kind of built right now, it can kind of be a, a one size fits all if you're, uh, you know, a good marketer and you think you can build something that kind of reaches everybody uh, or somewhere in between, I don't know, some sort of email tool, some sort of small business tool, startup tool, anything. You'll kind of see the power of it as I show you the, the way it all kind of functions here. But basically what we're looking at right now is the dashboard. You can see that these are some of the tools that come with it uh, right out the get-go. But let me start things off by just showing you we got basically, I guess, if we want to jump into the back end here in Bubble, uh, we'll look through some of these. But basically, the template comes locked and loaded with, uh, what do we got here? Eight different pages, a couple of defaults with uh, bubble, but it comes with a nice landing page, very customizable, but uh, built like a traditional SaaS landing page. So whatever it might be that you are interested in using this for, it kind of has a setup pre-made landing page, you know, replace the pictures with your own, very simply, very, uh, you know, no code bubble style. But if you go over to the landing page, uh, very quick and simple to replace all the pictures, replace all the copy, even using AI perhaps. Uh, but for whatever you're targeting, whatever specific product you're building with this, again, like I said, it's a one size fits all. It's very, very powerful as far as what you could do with this. But uh, as far as formatting and structure goes, you see kind of just a clean SaaS uh, boilerplate design here with, you know, uh, features, perks, pros, uh, the subscription model, the numbers, little review action, and like I said, the subscription models. Uh, so, you know, what you'd expect to see on a nice, clean, modern SaaS page, but comes locked and loaded with that with, uh, you know, quick links to all of the things uh, built into it. And if we want to go look into the real, like, uh, the, the meat here, let's head back to the dashboard. So the index, if we go back to preview, let me show you a bit what what we're talking here. So it's built with uh, the OpenAI API. So it's basically a chat GPT SaaS AI tool, as I mentioned before, but everything is exactly like you see here. As soon as you get it, it's, it's, you know, it's built to be powerful right from the, right from the opening of the box. The only thing you'd have to do is basically come in here and I think it's safe to show you, you won't be able to see my full API key, but this will be the only thing you'll have to change is this might be collapsed. You expand that open, uh, you get your free, completely free, uh, open API or open AI API key, you type in bearer space, and then you just paste it just like that. That's where that is right there. And then everything else should be good to go beyond that. That is the only thing just so, you know, you can't use my API key, but again, free to get through open AI. So just Google, you know, open AI, open AI API key. And, uh, you know, the process is simple. Just click that first link. Anyway, so that's the only thing you'll have to change before it is ready to go, ready to use. But let me basically show you a bit of the, the power that can happen here. So uh, let's say we have a product. Let's say we're a new uh, product-based company. And uh, I guess in, in your sense, watching this, you're, uh, you're targeting small business owners. You're targeting online startup owners, maybe e-com companies. And uh, this is a tool that they could use. So, you know, what's the sell to them? They subscribe, they pay a monthly fee, and they get all of their kind of, you know, built out the box, uh, you know, business management, smart builder, smart uh, typer, copy, marketing tools, all in one platform. And that's the platform that you're, you know, selling to them. So let's say it's a product description generator. You know what your product you're building is. Let's say your product is a um, vacuum cleaner. We'll say vacuum cleaner. We'll say a little bit more creatively. It is a solar powered vacuum cleaner. That is that's innovative. And the audience, I wouldn't say travelers, let's say adventurers, right? People that, uh, I don't know, sleep in the outdoors, but like a clean sleeping space, perhaps. Anyway, let's uh, go right down here. You can change the number of generations. I'll show you how to customize all that in the back end in a sec here. But you change, you uh, set that to generate. You see we've got some um, animations that pop up. I can uh, show you if you uh, 
want to see basically what happens here when it's loading, but basically it cues that animation. This is calling to the API key and uh, slowly but surely thinking and coming up with it's going to be one generation, but based on these, you know, the small variables we entered here, it's going to come up with a product description based on that. And here it is. Introducing the ultimate solution for all your outdoor cleaning needs, the solar powered vacuum cleaner designed specifically for adventurers like you. This innovative device runs on solar energy, providing you, you get the idea, you know, pause, read through if you want to read it. But basically that is a, a beautifully typed, fastly typed product description. So you don't have to do any of the heavy lifting on marketing your product. And that's, you know, in theory, if you're building something targeting small business owners, this is great. This is a huge tool for them. And, uh, you know, you can do more sim similar things that uh, could also target, you know, product sales folks, e-com folks, or you can, like I said, get a little more broad here. Right now it's built to be broad. It's built to be a little bit of everything, but you can see like, you know, you could take that, you could take the custom service help desk, the cold sales email. You can build a real, you know, toolkit here for uh, online business owners. And it's already, it, it comes right out the gate. Even if they don't have the business yet, right? Business idea generator, Facebook ad copy, text summarizer, Twitter thread generators, organic marketing, paid marketing, all the things you can imagine, it comes with those built in. So just like you just saw with the product description generator, it's basically the same template for all. It's that simple, but it's that powerful. So let's say we wanted to explain complex concepts, something a little bit different. Let's say, uh, I don't know, string theory, right? That's a, a complex concept. Let's generate a breakdown on that. Give it a sec here. I am sipping water. Okay, here we go. String theory is an idea that scientists have about everything in the world, uh, about how everything in the world is made up of tiny strings that vibrate. It's kind of like a song that makes everything around us, but sometimes scientists aren't sure if it's true or not, so they keep studying and learning more about it. See? That's perfect. So you get the idea here. They're very, uh, you know, powerful AI tools targeting all sorts of different subsets of people. Again, like I said, as niche down as you want it to be or as, you know, broad as you want it to be. But it basically packages all of the things that AI can do right here in a clean tool-based front end with, you know, everything you could want. You can uh, categorize it by specific things like we were saying, e-com, digital ads, social media, summarize, other. Uh, you can even see image generation. If we came over to image generation, you can basically type out a logo and it'll generate you a logo. Uh, and that's using the Dolly API. I'll show you the back end here again in a second. I guess I can show you real quick right now. But uh, we have two calls here, and that is the chat completion. So that's chat GPT, and we have Dolly, so that's image generation. Uh, and so, like I said, you can do a lot of powerful things with that, especially with the chat GPT. But image generation, logo generation, that's all Dolly. So, you know, it's magic, baby. Uh, and then, like I said, this is built to be a SaaS. So you got the plans already pre built at zero a month, 19 a month, 49 a month. Very, very easy to change. Stripe is already come, uh, is already you know, load it up in here. You just add in the same thing, your API key. And it's as simple as that to build, I guess, a, a user interface for users to then come on and be upgraded to a paid plan. And you can change those numbers to whatever you think your, you know, the monthly rate would be. Uh, and it's, it's simple, simple, easy, easy. So let me show you a little bit about uh, the customization options that we have here. So like I said, you shouldn't have to mess with this, but it's very easy to change any design elements you want. Obviously, you put your logo right there, replace that, replace the simple text. But as far as the actual data, as far as the actual tools go, let me show you how kind of the, the database works here. This is where it gets really exciting, really cool, and uh, I guess simple and powerful, you could say. So the main thing that I guess, you know, powers this is you can see it's broken up by category, charts, uh, users, tools. Charts basically is uh, measuring, you know, the tokens that you're using logged into your account and uh, that directly pulls from whatever your account is. And again, that comes back to the SaaS model. So again, very, very useful for uh, setting pricing structure. But as far as, let's say we wanna make another tool. Let's say we wanna make a tool specifically for startups that wanna reach out to investors, right? You're raising venture capital, you're going into seed round. Maybe you're making a tool purely targeted at uh, you know, startup founders. So let's say that's what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna want to set the category of, for this example, let's just say e-com. We're going to set the image just as a default one that I already had for one of the others, but let's say package.png, just a little picture of a box. It's going to see, you know, we're repeating that, but just for this example, just so it has an image, you can set an image to be whatever you want it to be. So the main important things we're going to want to change here are the inputs. So let's say, first of all, we're going to want to go to name of input one. So name of input one. So name of input one right here. We're going to say input one is my name. So if this is a cold outreach to investors, you're going to want, you know, the AI to know what your name is. You're writing it as, it's writing it as you rather. And then also with that, we're going to go uh, name of input two. We're going to do my company's 
name. Uh, and we're also gonna wanna know what the company does, I guess. That'll be the body of the email. So name of input three will say, what my company does. Uh, and then let's say the investor's name is also probably important. So let's say for name of input four is right here. We're gonna say investor name. Yeah, so let's say investors name. Oh boy, if I can type it. Investor's name. Okay, lovely. Okay, and so let's change the description. The description is actually what's going to, I can show you what we've done so far. Let's actually, before we change that, let's let's create that. Let me show you what has happened so far. So great. We created a new data entry, and now as soon as we go back to our dashboard, all of a sudden, we have uh, e-commerce. We have no title there yet. Uh, we have that picture that we just uploaded, but we have a new button that's just added. So now it is, you know, it looks wonky now, but we have officially added that and it's that simple. It's already there. So let's go back in there and let's change some things. So one, let's change the name. So we're going to call the name investor out, out reach. And then let's save that, and you'll see if you come right back over here. Now all of a sudden it says investor outreach. It's alphabetical, so it's moved up here. But now all of a sudden it's in the e-commerce categories. But in theory, you might want to add extra categories. If you're targeting uh, investors or founders, you can make a category for founders, let's say. Uh, but anyway, so we have the title there, e-commerce, the category. We got that little picture we uploaded, investor outreach. Let's add a description to it. So if we go over here, and let's say the description is simple. Reach out to investors about your new startup cool and then if we save that come right back over here reach out to investors about your new startup amazing and then you can see already if we click that we have the the things that we added so we have my name my company's name what my company does investors name amazing 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 so now we're going to want to come back into the database and let's change a little bit more so let's say let's say the prompts the prompts are what's going to actually tell chat gpt what we want it to do so let's go over to prompt before if you just hold the mouse over it should say which one okay great prompt before input one so input one is my name so we're going to say my name and then we're gonna to wanna to do prompt before input two. Let's find that here, that is input four. Prompt before input two. Prompt before input two is my company's name. Let's say prompt before input three, is that this one right here? That is not that one there. Prompt before input four, we know it's right there. Prompt before input three, boom. Input three, we said it was what my company does. So what my company does. Again, this is what's actually being sent out in the API. So this is what uh, we're going to see on the front end for the, the actual user using the platform, our platform. This is what's being sent in the API to ChatGPT. So hopefully that clarifies that. And then I think this was for, yeah, prompt before input four. We're going to say investor's name. Lovely. That should be good. Let's save that again one more time. We're going to want to now, we don't have to refresh anything. If it was design change, you'd want to refresh your page right now, but because it's data, we're just going to want to go over to investor outreach and let's test the tool. So my name is, let's say Joseph. Uh, my company's, let's say it's a little more specific, Joseph Smith. My company's name is uh, Luxury. What my company does, we make luxury visors. Uh, okay, let's say investor's name is Charles um, Giver. Very creative, good work there. Uh, and let's generate, so let's see what it comes up with with that. Not a ton of information, but in theory, uh, we can correct and give it more prompts or whatever we need for the you know outcome that we want. Okay, it actually came up with quite a bit. So let's see. Hello, Charles. My name is Joseph Smith, and I am the CEO of Luxor, a company that designs and produces luxury visors. Our company only sources the highest quality materials and uses expert craftsmanship to create a product that is both fashionable and functional. See, I gave it very little information, and it came up with all this. So you can imagine, if you give it much more information, it can come up with much more powerful responses. But even with that, I'm happy with that. So we just, you know, in five minutes here, created a investor outreach tool just to add into our many, many tools database. So with that, you see just how powerful this is. I mean, in theory, if it's you know not just investor outreach, maybe there's a difference ones between angel investor outreach or venture capital investment or, uh, investor outreach. Maybe there's one that's reaching out to customers. Maybe there's one that's typing investor reports. Maybe there's one that can outline a tool for capital spend. If you're raising, I don't know, $3 million or whatever, and you want OpenAI to create a plan for you on how not to burn that $3 million in your first, whatever, two years. All of these things are, you know, the power of ChatGPT, and you see the simplicity of how easy it is to just add it into the back end here for as many, as many tools as you can possibly imagine. So 
That's the basis of uh, building new tools into this, into the front end. It's incredibly powerful, like I said, and that's it. That's basically, you know, all you need to know as far as building these new tools and making this, you know, cater to whatever audience it is you're targeting. Uh, and then for categories, the same idea, right? So you come in here, you want to say appear first. No, we'll say the name is startup tools. Uh, I don't have an icon. Let's just give it a temporary icon for right now. Okay, cool. And let's see if we go modified order. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say startup tools is seven. So we added that into categories. Now we want to go into option sets. And again, you can explore this. You'll see that we've got, you know, some, some basic option sets here with uh, our account details, our actual plan. Like we said, very customizable, but you've got free starter pro, very easy to modify. You just come in there, change the title. If you want it to be, let's say, you know, uh, bronze, silver, gold, and then you can change all the pricing information. Easy as that. But for this one, we're changing category stuff. So let's say in this one, we also want to add startup tools amazing let's add startup tools and you see it goes right there if we go back over to our app data back to our tool back to our tool that we just made our investor outreach now we're going to want to add a new category to it it's no longer ecom now it is considered a startup tool amazing let's click save there got it in the front end you'll see startup tools investor outreach reach out to investors about your new startup and you see right here on the side all tools i just like i said copied uh the icon from all tools so not very creative there but in theory you could go through icons and then find one that actually is applicable for startup tools but for now that's fine uh but you see categories on the side and uh category written right above investor outreach so we just created a new category and we created an entire new tool and that's basically it. I mean, that's the customization right there. So it's as creative or as simple as you want it to be, as niche or as broad as you want it to be. And that's it. That's all of it. That's 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 basically how you add new categories. That's how you add new tools. Uh, you know, you can add new users. That's just bubble. But that's the gist of this template here. So incredibly, incredibly powerful stuff. Uh, like I said, it comes preloaded with the uh, all the API calls for OpenAI. You just have to add in your own API key. And that is free to get. And then if you want it to be, you know, more powerful, more advanced, you can obviously do the paid plan with OpenAI. But built to scale, easy peasy. The plugins are light. We have air copy to clipboard. That's just so you can actually come in. And when something gets typed up, there's a quick little button here. I don't want to make you wait right now. But there's a button here that just says copy. And then that lets the user copy it straight to their clipboard. It's just a little simple, you know, speed thing. Chart elements for tracking your tokens. Gradient and text just for a little style sake. And progress bar you saw comes up when we're actually making the uh, API call when we're sending it off. So that's the gist. I mean, it is relatively simple. It, let's, we'll say it's straightforward, but also depthy and complex. So there's a lot you can do with this. There's a lot of different, you know, customer bases you can target with whatever product you're building, but that is the boilerplate. That's the template. Build your own AI SaaSes, test them out. I mean, this lets you build as many as you want to. You could, you know, quickly, easily duplicate, 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 and create as many SaaS AI product ideas and, uh, you know, MVP test those suckers as much as you want. So that's the gist. Please comment any questions you have. I'll make more specific videos if you you know want to see how specific things work. And if you have feature ideas or things you want to see, then we'll make it happen. So hopefully this uh, this clarifies a bit about our AI SaaS product template. Hopefully uh, you're excited to go jump in, and I can't wait to see what you build with it. Cool. See you next time.